It is my esteemed pleasure to introduce Tabby Hinderocker. She is an ongoing student of life and per no, personal growth junkie, which I can attest to because sometimes she you know, gets her fix from, from me. Um, Tabby Hinderocker set a goal to have at least 40 new and different experiences in 2014. In addition to satisfying her own growth fixes, she also encourages and supports the growth of her daughter, her husband, her family, her clients, and her business. Let's give Tabby a round of applause. Do I need to do something to start this? Yeah. Okay. This isn't my job. I'll do my job back here. That's too much. All right. So what, a little over a year ago, I got my first tattoo. Several of you probably have tattoos. I was terrified. I hate pain. So um, I went with a friend. We made the commitment to go together, and I was so scared. I wasn't sure if I was going to pass out or throw up. Um, everything that went wrong, I was sure was a sign I wasn't supposed to be there. Everything from we had no cash to um, the ATM wasn't working. Got it, lived through it, and that really kind of inspired me to embrace my fear. Um, my 40th birthday happened last year as well. Um, when, I had, when I turned 30, I had a minor meltdown. Um, but at 40, I decided to embrace uh, my age of 40, and that led into this goal of 40 new and different experiences in 2014. Um, I had been going through a lot of change. I was working full time, got my master's, became a mother, uh, finished my master's all within a span of two years. And it came to this point of time where I just needed some re reflection space to figure out what the heck I was doing with my life. So with, through this goal of 40 and 14, um, I decided to face fear. One of them, this seems maybe kind of benign, but I decided to volunteer um, at my daughter's um, VBS class this summer. Um, I love my daughter, but I do not do well in a situation with a bunch of kids running around. <laughs> so, so I embraced that fear, leaned into it, we survived. Um, I also explored some creativity endeavors. So I took some classes at the Art Center for the first time. I did my first wine and canvas event. You can tell. Um, my picture um, looks a lot different than the two on either side of me, um, but it was fun. And that was all about letting go of my perfection, right? Because I was trying to follow the rules and it wasn't working, so I let it go. I did a lot of other things. Um, like uh, tried hot yoga for the first time, did kayaking for the first time, decided to stop coloring my hair and let my gray grow in naturally. I had been hiding that since I was 18 years old and decided I was done with the color. So a lot of different experiences. Um, I tried aerial yoga. So Christy um, in the middle there, she's sitting in this hammock. Um, if you have not tried aerial yoga, I highly recommend it. That hammock is supposed to um, hold on to you while you spin around in the air. <laughs> and um, it was incredibly terrifying and I was holding on so tight because I didn't want to fall and I couldn't do the moves and the woman said if you just let go it'll happen oh she was right I let go and I fell into it so it was so much easier um, also for the first time ever this year I left my daughter for uh, four days and went on vacation with my husband he asked me to do that with him and I almost wanted to say no I was like oh, we have never le uh, left her with anyone before but I did it and we had a really good time she had a good time with her um, grandparents so that was a really um, good stretch for me as well. I also took a lot of big, bold moves in my business. Um, I just started my business a year and a half ago. Um, I did my first national exhibit um, here at the Opryland, and I walked in there thinking, what the heck am I doing here? <laughs> um, I don't belong, um, but I did anyway. I did more local exhibiting here, which is almost even scarier because people you know show up, <laughs> and, and you're like, oh, hi. Um, so that was a little awkward, but I survived all of those different experiences as well and had a good time um, doing that. So um, some other things I did from a business standpoint, um, just putting myself out there a little bit more with my blogs, I started getting a little bit more personal, talking a little bit more about my personal journey. Um, I co-facilitated my first retreat with two other um, people, and this is a situation where people paid to come and see me, right? So I've been doing a lot of facilitation, but this was people giving us money to do this, and it was a little terrifying. Um, the retreat overall went well. Um, until the very end, I dropped a glass of water on the floor and said, oh shit, really loud. <laughs> Don't do that if you're one of the um, facilitators. And then outside, when we were wrapping up, right as I was beginning to do my closing part, um, a bird shit on my head. So <laughs> that was really 
really um, interesting, and I was like, oh my god, this is totally a sign for something. I don't know what. Um, anyway, we survived it. Um, other ways I put myself out there, I co-hosted my first um, chamber event with Dee. She's the one in the white sweater, and the other two are the chamber um, uh, directors, and we hosted a networking event. Um, I said yes to a lot of uh, business opportunities that scared the crap out of me, so this one was facilitating for this wonderful group of people. None of them spoke English. So that was really scary for me. I had never done that before, but I did it and I survived and um, it was amazing. They were just a great group of people. So a lot of business growth and exploration. Um, another piece, a little self-disclosure here, um, I am really good about like creating connections and that kind of thing, but not so good about the deeper relationships. That's been something I've been struggling with my whole life. This year I really focused on that. So I've been working to strengthen relationships and actually got two beautiful new friends out of it and um, we just have a really great relationship. Um, one of the scariest things I did was go parasailing with my daughter. <laughs> um, in addition to me being terrified for myself because I don't like heights and I did not trust that rope or the people on the boat. <laughs> um, but I was thinking, what kind of mother are you? Are you taking your three-year-old daughter on this parasail, you idiot? Um, but she loved it. She she was laughing the whole time and as soon as they got done she's like mommy can we do it again I said no <laughs> um, but really um, we had such a good time she enjoyed it and it was just a really good experience um, to do as a family so you know a couple lessons I learned along the way just enjoy life have fun um, really lean into your fear that was one big message I got everything I did that scared the crap out of me um, just helped me grow that much more um, I heard a really great great quote earlier in the year about the turtle can't move forward if it doesn't stick out its neck so that kind of became my mantra and I have this little guy I painted um, sitting on my desk to remind me that to keep sticking my neck out keep going after those fears and just ch take those growth opportunities so here I am doing the hoop after aerial yoga um, it was really hard it doesn't look hard but it was really hard to get up into that space and um, just you know, learning the, along the way, just also to trust myself, trust other people. People are there to support you, and when you trust yourself, um, just about anything can happen. So, thank you for your time, um, and I think that's it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>